friends, welcome back to Floss Tube number three. I am Shiloh, better known online as Karish Valandar. And wouldn't you know it, you, you say that you're going to deliver on time, have a, a schedule set out, and you're going to deliver it, and then something happens and pff, your plans just go. <laughs> That's what happened to me this week. Um, I had plans of when I was going to make my videos and have enough time to edit them and stuff. And then I ended up getting sick for the first part of this week. And one of my kiddos got sick the last part of this week. So it's just kind of been chaotic and I haven't had enough time to sit down and make a video and edit it. So unfortunately this is a little bit late, but I did a lot of stitching this week. So I have a lot of fun things to show you. Um, so let me start with finishes. This is actually an older finish, but um, it's a present for someone, so I couldn't show it too early before, uh, but they should be receiving it very soon. Uh, all right, so this is called Carpe Diem by Ben Bromel. Uh, my lighting is absolutely horrible, but... This is by Ben Brommel, and I believe this is on 16 count oatmeal. And this was the first time that I actually used the Etoile. Like, I bought it specifically for this project, and I don't know if I can get you to get it to show this. Eh, not really. Oh, there's a little bit. So the D20 is all sparkles, and eh, this is going to be hard to show. Eh, you can kind of see it, but the handles, every pretty much everything on the swords at the bottom are done in the etoile as well. Um, everything, I change this pattern a lot, actually, color-wise. The designs are all the same, but the D20 um, I did in the purple etoile, I don't, I, 550 maybe, and... Um, I changed the color of this dragon. This was originally red. This was originally like a yellow dragon. So I changed that to green because I don't really like how the yellow fit. And I filled in, originally the pattern called for just leaving the numbers blank, but I went ahead and filled them in just so it kind of gave it a more even look. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this looked out. This really cemented my love for the Etoile line. Um, and I know my friend will absolutely love it. She's actually my DM for Pathfinder. And if none of those words mean anything to you, that's fine. <laughs> I know I'm a nerd. Um, so that was my one finish that I have to show you guys. Um, I had a couple of starts this week as well. Uh, one of these is actually a restart because I started it earlier in the year and then realized that the fabric I cut out was too small or it was going to be, it wasn't going to have enough borders for me to do anything with. And I was worried about it falling apart. Uh, so, um, yeah, I had to restart it. Fortunately I had more fabric in my stash that I could do it on. So that made that nice and easy. Um, so this, oh, of course it's very holy, but um, this is Chalkboard Nativity by Fuzzy Fox Designs. I believe this is on 14 count Black Ada. I think it's 14 count. It seems pretty big. And this was my restart. And I have all of the words done. And then there's a lot of backstitching stars that go around here. And then on the bottom here is like the Nativity... Um, Bethlehem scene and it's a lot of backstitching left to do but I actually don't mind backstitching and hopefully it's not complicated it doesn't look complicated so hopefully that won't take me too long to finish so I should I should be able to get that done before Christmas but we'll see because Christmas gets a little crazy around our house I think we have four Christmases that we celebrate with all the family so uh, and my other new start, which you've actually seen a completed one of this one, um, but I'm making this, the previous one was made for someone else. 
So I'm actually making this for myself. But this is come on, focus. Um, Christmas goodies by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it's really hard to see. But this is actually a very light pink. Um, it's, I want to say it's 16 count Ada. And originally, the, it's it's going to say milk, cookies, and Christmas goodies. The milk is done in white, um, but that I found out with my last one that I did, it doesn't really show up on this color. So I think instead of out doing it white and then outlining it like I did in the previous one, I'm going to just do it in that blue color, and I think it should work, I, I think. So those were my two new starts. Um, on to my whips. My other whips, I guess. Because those are still technically whips. Um, oops. Alright, so first I have... Oh, stop that. My Letters from Hogwarts. Stitch Your Own Adventure. Um, this is by Cunning Cross Stitch. This is done on trying to get it in good lighting so you can actually see the colors really good. Um, this is done on 16 count Ada that I ice dyed myself. And I got, let me see, this owl is all done. This owl, I still have to do his eyes. Um, and I did more of outlining of the letters. The first, let me see if I can do this, the first letter <laughs> is going to be in the middle top here. So I'm going to try to get that one outlined completely before the first official pattern drops in January. Um, I'm really looking forward to this stitch along. Um, most stitch alongs drop like once a month or once a week. This one's going to be every other month. So we'll actually have six patterns. But I think that's good because that gives me plenty of time to finish them because I feel like sometimes I feel so rushed to get them done and then I fall way behind. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm really hoping that the first one is about your house sorting. I am a proud Ravenclaw, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some Ravenclaw elements, hopefully. All right, and then my last whip that I have for you guys today is, it's still on the hoop because I'm still kind of working on it. Uh, this is the Nutcracker Parade, also by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. So I pretty much got a lot of his float done, and that's pretty much all I worked on. <laughs> it was just his float. Uh, this is on 28, 28 count Kasha Linen in Dwarf by Picture This Plus. Uh, I really like how that looks with it. It gives it a nice background, but it's not too glaring, and it's not overly powerful but it gives it a nice it's not a solid color so it breaks it up really nice too um that's that's my first major project Ooh, focus hello <laughs> um that's my first major project on linen so i'm once i'm stitching in areas that already have quite a few stitches it goes by normally but when i have to count out anything it goes by pretty slow um so whatever. So that's all I have for you guys today. I am planning on um, making a stash dive sometime soon. That will be its own little video of going into my box that I have over in that closet and digging out my whips, showing what I have. Um, and I don't know if that'll probably be its own. My stash dive will probably be its own video. And then I'll do another video talking about my stitching goals for 2020. Um, so I pretty much have a list on my computer here that I started making that um, it should be, it's pretty straightforward. It seems pretty easy. I don't know if I'll get everything accomplished that I would like to, but that's okay. We set up challenges for ourselves and we try our best. And if we make it great, if we don't, that's also great. You tried. So I have a lot of new stitches that I would like to start and finish. Mostly um, the seasonal sayings from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I know I've mentioned that in previous videos and I'll probably have, uh, I'll 
go into more details about that in the 2020 video. Um, I also have quite a few stitches without even looking in my stash that I would know that I like would like to finish. Um, there's a couple of salves that I have yet to finish that I really want to get done. Um, there's, like I said, that chalkboard nativity, which hopefully should be done before Christmas, but we'll see. Um, and there's two other patterns outside of the seasonal sayings that I would like to start and finish next year as well. Um, those are bigger projects though. The seasonal sayings I think are, they're not super tiny, but they're bite-sized. You know, you can, if you worked hard, you could probably get one done in a week. Um, but since I have so much else going on, I usually can't, but it's not overwhelming. But then these last two projects, which I'll, again, I'll show you in another video, look forward to it. Um, I, they're, they're quite a bit bigger, but they look really fun and I'm really looking forward to sharing them with you guys. So I think that's all I have for you for this specific video. Again, sorry it was kind of late. Um, just sickness kind of swept into our house and affected everything timing wise. So hopefully next week I will be able to get you one on time. Yeah, because next week's not Christmas. So um, the week of Christmas might be a little more chaotic. We'll see. Maybe it'll be a short one just giving you a happy holidays message or something. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to follow me in my adventures, make sure you click subscribe um, and click that bell just so you get alerted when I upload new videos. I'm, I am trying to upload a new video every week on Fridays, hopefully at nine o'clock CST US Central Time. Um, definitely either Fridays or Saturdays for sure. Um, and Although I may have to skip a week or two, depending on circumstances, but my goal is one video a week. So uh, make sure you get that subscription clicked. Make sure you get that bell dinged. And uh, yeah, what whips have you been working on? Let me know down in the comments below uh, if you'd like to. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!